You know, I still run with that that blood of a slave balling in my veins. We gotta get into the mailbag. Uh, we got a couple nasty though, but that's what's up, cause that means they're actually watching and tuning in. So yeah, we got a lot of mail. You know, we appreciate you guys for uh, tuning yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, we gonna touch two of them though, cause we gotta get something straight here. Uh, Tom from Nebraska. Uh, Tommy. Claimed us for, for being frauds, for stating our opinion. Tom, it's not a fact. We, we, we got opinions like you do, you know. But um, tell him why. Tom basically said that uh, Kalazaki tears Bernard Hopkins out the frame. And I'm going to let my man Sleepy demonstrate real quick why Bernard Hopkins is going to win that well, fight. Go to our MySpace page, myspace.com forward slash Guard Your Grill Boxing, and check my blog out where I was called, where I called it Smoking Mirrors. And uh, you know what I'm talking about, basically falling into the hype and the sensation. Not calling him a media sensation, but the sensation of the cinematography and the events that go on before a fight. You gotta understand one thing with Kawasaki. Kawasaki's a good fighter, but he's fight all brawlers. All people who's kind of tailor-made for him. And he doesn't, you know, outside of the last two, and I'm not even going to put Kessler in the echelon of opponents that other people fought. You know what I'm saying? And not even Jeff Lacey, even though I thought Jeff Lacey was going to win. But, you know, Kyle, Kyle Zaki, the thing about him, he doesn't have an efficient jab. And he throws a lot of punches. A lot of his sequences are set up through looping a looping left hook to get in close, where where he'll sit there and throw it. And then, you know, he's he's what, all over. What you call him, Kyle Slappy? Oh, that's what my yeah. man Docs calls him, Kyle Slappy. Now the difference is, he faced a seasoned vet, the big dog Bernard Hopkins, Shout out to Philadelphia, me, PA. When you face somebody like that who's crafty and is, a, and is a veteran, they feed off of mistakes like that. His footwork right. is very awkward when he starts his attack and he doesn't set it up with a proper jab. So you're going to be Kalzaki and I'm going to be Bernard. Now what Bernard is going to do when Kalzaki comes in, he's going to give him an angle. He's going to That's how he fight the He's going to give him an angle, pop him with a short right hand, and bull rush him. When he bull rushes him, the shoulder hits him in the chin. And what about the hitting on the waist? And then when he's not looking at the record, sit on the weight, spin him around, <laughs> last ass. <laughs> there you go. Last ass. There you go. So and that puts a wear and tear on opponents, right? Right. It puts a very much wear and tear on it. And it might not be the fight that y'all want to see, but it's a type of fight where I sit there and I'm laughing like I'm in a, a, a action packed movie because the fight over Winky Wright was ingenious to me. And what's the his record over? against Southpaw before we go into the next mailbagger? Twelve and zero. Or It'll be after yeah, March be or whenever they make the that. fight. All right, last mailbagger, Guard Your Grill Boxing, Cold Train, my man Sleep, shout out to Docs, Ride or Die, and oh, my oh, man oh. Big Mike. Before you go on that, one more thing I want to say about Bernard, and I'm, I'm sorry to cut you off, Cold Train. He, 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 he gets you with the old head move. I don't know if a lot of you guys are from the city, but if you try to fight somebody older back in the day, you're like, no, not on, not on your block. You come to my block and fight me. That's right. That's what Bernard's doing to everybody right now. Light he's, dragging, heavy. he's dragging everybody up the light heavyweight where they don't want to go. They put on them extra pounds. They get a little slow in the feet, and Bernard is strong up there. He's very strong, and that's where his second career is taking place. He's basically taking out for having to struggle to make one six and not being able to eat birthday cake for 15 years Hell. because he was so disciplined. So now he's taking that frustration out to make 160 on everybody at 175. All right, Steve from Indiana told us strictly like this. This is quote unquote, get off Paul Williams' job. We don't have no ties with no fighters here at Guard Your Grill Boxing. We just state the facts. As you can see, my man in the background, this is basically what Paul Williams does to little opponents. 6-2, South Paul. 90 punches around. Oh, did I mention he got a chin too? Oh, also, did I mention- Look at the angles, look at the angles. Oh, not only that, he, he, he boxed circles around the most feared, well, then the most feared welterweight, Margarito, who looked pretty good tonight against who? Somebody. But uh, anyway. It was me. It was me in the ring. So, Steve, <laughs> from Indiana, as you can see, we're not partial to fighters. We just state the facts, homie. But we appreciate the love. Keep tuning in. LeBron James of the boxing division. Shout out to the addresses. I'm Cole Train. This is your man Sleepy. You want to shout out the mad addresses? MySpace.com forward slash Guard Your Grill Boxing. I'm a little winded. December 8th. I had train. Hatton. <laughs> oh, I had train. Your, that was a robbery, too. Oh Castle my Mayor lost God. that fight. Did you see that fell. fight? That was a robbery. That's all I got to say. Robbery. Peace. Yo, Guard Your Grill at gmail.com. MySpace slash Guard Your Grill Boxing. Go into YouTube, type in Guard Your Grill Boxing. No. And we out.